wow, I've been productive girl today. Well, I woke up really late. I was working late last night. And then after like 11, I drove to like Northern Liberties area of Philly. I went to this coffee shop. It's also like a like a restaurant. Like they're kind of in the same building and they have like a bakery too. I went for once for pizza. They make really good pizza there. And I wanted to get some pastries. So I got some pastries. They also sell like orange wine there. And I've never tried orange wine. <laughs> um, so I bought a bottle of that. Then I went to yoga class. Barely made it there in time because I had to park and then park again. And then yoga class was at 12. Then I drove down to Old City and I went to the little produce store down here that I like because I'm going to make quesadillas tomorrow. And once again, poblanos are like always like out of stock or we never get the right thing when we order them when we get our groceries. So we needed poblano and onion. I got to cut like a little pumpkin another pumpkin for a stoop and like a squash and some chips because i was hungry and then i got this um smoothie it's a like golden milk smoothie so it's like turmeric and i don't know ginger banana i don't know what else it is i have a nail appointment in like half an hour over here and i kind of want to go into this little cocktail store over here just to see if they have like one thing that i want i don't think they're gonna have it but it's probably dangerous for me to go in there but I have some extra time. I also was driving and I saw garbage on the side of the road that looked like a plant stand, like a large plant stand. Honestly, it looked like two of them together. There was like this like brassy color and it kind of looked like, it might be too big, but it looked like a good plant stand for this big pink planter that I have that I want to repot my olive tree into. And I texted Jack, I was like, should I go walk back over there? and scope it out because I just drove by and I saw it he's like no don't be digging through someone's trash <laughs> but it's just like on the sidewalk so I think if I do that and then I'm getting my nails done I think I already said that but I'm getting like spooky season nails I'm very excited so this is just what I've got going on right now it's like pink French with like little like gold stars on them but yeah so okay I'm gonna go walk around get some steps in it's really nice out today it's like I don't know, 65 and maybe go to this cocktail shop maybe you scope out the trash situation okay well i investigated the plant stand i don't think it was two and they were like probably like wider than i would have liked and they were it looked like it was like metal but it wasn't so it was like kind of lightweight and not quite what i was looking for to that little cocktail shop browse around um i was looking for a chili liqueur that I had in a cocktail recently that was really good and I didn't think they were gonna have that one there because they sell more like supplies at this place like a lot of like bitters and like bar supplies and like stuff like that not like a lot of actual like spirits but um they did have a chili liqueur but not the one I wanted I forgot to show you my nails here we are they're kind of like Jack Skellington themed I guess it's like like a French tip with like black like little stitches I guess so I actually got a um like a pastel pumpkin towel from anthropology um but then I saw an ad for these like I think it's called geometry the brand and I have a couple other like kitchen towels from them and they came up it was like an ad popped up on my Instagram and it was like Halloween towels and then I looked and they literally had I don't know dozens of like Halloween towels and I like put so many in the car and then I was like no I don't need <laughs> an endless amount of towels I'll just get two um so the, another pumpkin one I think I'll put out for like Thanksgiving um it's really pretty I can show you that one too but so I got this one which is just kind of like a I don't know spooky montage but I liked the colors um and yeah and then I had to get this one it's like little um like skeletons like doing yoga so <laughs> got the and then this is just the pumpkin one I got. So I'll save that more for like November. Okay, it's Saturday. We just did like a Costco trip this morning. And then Mabel's just been doing like stuff around the house. And um, I just walked and got some coffee because it's actually really nice. It's like 70. It's like perfect. I'm calling it a fall weather because to me 70 used to be like warmer. But like now that it's like so hot here in the summer, 70 feels like pretty like cool and like a little crisp and I can wear pants. <laughs> I'm gonna like clean and organize like my makeup 
drawers a little bit just because they're kind of grimy and then jack's actually working in the basement today um <laughs> I, don't, I, don't th I think i didn't tell you guys yet but i was like gone for like a week um like dog sitting for my sister and jack kept saying he was gonna be doing these like secret projects while i was gone and so i came back and he like started like i guess like refinishing the basement to, like putting up like framing and putting up drywall um like where we have our laundry it was not what i was expecting he was gonna be doing <laughs> but um so he just did like around the laundry and he like painted and he put up like a new like drying rack and like some little i'll show it to you but um and so he's just working on kind of continuing around the basement that kind of stuff so he's down there making a lot of noise we're just gonna make some margaritas at home tonight honestly well i was saying that i wanted that chili liqueur which i cannot find i like looked on like the F fine wine and good spirits website to see if they have it anywhere around here and it said they don't when i searched like our zip code so i ordered it online <laughs> um but because i'm kind of like in the mood for like a like a like a spicier margarita i don't know and i also got a mezcal that i want to try so we have a lot of jalapenos we planted jalapenos the summer when we planted a bunch of like herbs and or jack i shouldn't say we jack did it and like the jalapenos literally like were like they just like didn't grow well maybe we planted them too late but like it was until like the last like month or so that they've actually been like i don't know like not like super tiny and there's like a lot of them and some of them actually have started turning like red because i think they're like getting like too ripe but we're like, what are we gonna do with all these jalapenos? Why do we? I mean, like, we will put them in like guac sometimes, but like, or, like a salad. Like, what's about? Like, that's it. I'm like, we should have planted poblanos because that's what we use more. Because we use poblanos a lot in quesadillas. But maybe next year we'll do that. But we're gonna make sweet potato poblano quesadillas tonight, and I kind of want to try using some of those jalapenos in margaritas. Okay, here's the situation. Uh, honestly, this drawer is not that bad because we don't use it that much. That much, it's just like setting sprays, eyeshadow palettes, and lashes. But like these two could use a little organization, and like this one, <laughs> little eyelashes and powder dust everywhere. So I need to like wipe them down, like down these little organizers. Here we are. I feel like I can't ever figure out how to organize this. Like I always move it around because at first I was trying to do like face products in one and then eye products in the other, I feel like, and then I don't know, these are just kind of like awkward sized container <laughs> holders. Um a lot of this stuff like, doesn't really fit. So over here I put mostly like face products, or is I guess just like not primers, concealers, foundations, mascara, and like powders. And then over here is more like the colored stuff, so like um, some like eyeshadows, blush, lip glosses, lipstick, lip liners, bronzer, like blush, highlighter, contour, eyeliners, and lip liners, pretty much. I feel like I have a lot of extra room now, so that's good. It was getting cluttered before, but I got rid of a little bit of stuff, and then here we are. Looks better. I used to have like so much makeup, and now I like I only really want like stuff that I actually use. And I don't want to have like, you know, multiples of everything where I used to like, like I have like too many foundations right now. Um, none of them are really a good color for me. So I like to mix them, but like I don't want to have, you know, a whole bunch of different stuff. Like I want to have like staples, like stuff that I actually like and use and then like use them up and then buy a new one. I don't want to be have like too much clutter, if that makes sense. These come out. <laughs> Alright, so I don't think I've ever really showed much from the basement, but I was I mentioned I was gone for like a week. I came back and alright, so this is like the basement. Jack actually painted this white because it was just like I think it was all the gray color before this dips in here, so it's really like dangerous. Um and so the washers here, the dryer's over there. Um and yeah, it's just like unfinished, obviously. Um, so Jack started framing and putting up drywall over here. I made this little laundry nook area. So we had already gotten this cabinet last year from Ikea. I think it's meant to be like kitchen cabinet, but 
We just have it for like extra storage and stuff. There's a bunch of stuff on it right now, but yeah, so we, we painted, put up this new drying rack, which is nice, it's like adjustable, it can come down, and then he yeah, had all these funny little signs in it that was hilarious. So there's the little laundry symbols one. <laughs> laundry room, and this one is funny. Drop your pants here. Um, I think so the, so the idea is to eventually move the dryer over next to the wash so they're like next to each other. But I think he needs like um, an electrician or someone to get the right outlet, I don't know, or the vent, I'm not really sure. <laughs> so that would kind of complete this area. A little thing on the wall to hang up some cleaning stuff. And then so then just this past weekend he was kind of starting this area as well. Um, these shelves were all here, um, and this is just kind of like his like, little work area. Eventual idea is to have either like the laundry kind of walled off or like this area walled off so it's more like a little like room in the basement. Um, and it's not like open to all the like whatever the stuff, the electrical and like all this stuff. But yeah, so that's the little basement. I was pretty impressed. Um, it's obviously needs like molding at the bottom and stuff. It's not completely finished, but it's a good start.